Hi everyone, this is Diane. You see paper dolls here on my table again. Um, so I've been purchasing a lot of paper dolls in the last couple of weeks. Most of them from one vendor. And she has a, uh, what she calls a yard sale that she sets, it's all set up and she just opens it up about once a month. And she knows that I like paper and she knows that I purchase paper dolls and so she sold me a few of them. Well, I got quite a few at her tent thing the first time it was open. And then she sold this whole tote to me at the flea market. And I had a big, I just, you know, showed everything on my video um, a couple days ago and I asked people to just message me on Etsy if there was any they wanted and I sold most of them thank you very much um, there's still a few that haven't been picked up that were reserved but we're down to just a couple now a couple um, orders so that's good I know that they'll come and get them but this is what I have left from that batch and I'm just gonna put these in my shop so and and some of them were from the first batch that I bought from her so these are just gonna go in my shop I'm not gonna take do any more reservations that was a lot of work <laughs> so you can watch for these well I knew she had sorry I knew she had more paper dolls. She told me she had some really old ones. And I kept thinking she was bringing them to this or that, and she didn't. So finally she said the day after Memorial Day, she invited me to come back up to where her tent is set up, and she would have them out for me. So I went up and I looked, and I went through the box, and I bought all of these from her. Summer books, summer cutout. And... I'm going to be keeping some of these, but a lot of them will have to be sold because I need to, you know, I can't afford to just buy these and keep them. <clears throat> so I was excited about these. These are the ones I've been waiting for. <laughs> but I think I'm going to put the other ones, finish getting those in my shop before I list these. So it's going to be a while before you see these in my shop. I'm not taking reservations for any of these. But while I was there, I also, I saw this lying on the table, and I know that this is a really, really cute book, and it's hard to find, and it's expensive on eBay. And this one is not in great condition, but she gave it to me for free. So you can't beat that. See, it's really rough. And there, there's some writing on some of the pages. This one got cut out. But there's a lot in here that I can use. And... <clears throat> free is a really good price so I didn't mind that at all get that you just cut around it that's a cute idea for a journal isn't it smells musty too and these two were on the table she charged me three dollars for each of these books sometimes these books can be expensive um this one is 1941, or 42 is a reprint. And it's not in excellent see, I just tore it. It's not in great condition. And it's got some tears, besides the one I just made. See, that corner is torn. That corner is torn. So I think it would be really cute to take some of these images and use them on the cover of a journal and I would love to make a series of journals like that um, and I have other I have quite a few of these type of books with really cute pictures that would make great covers Counting Rhymes Florence Sarah Winship I've heard of her so I probably have others I might I may have had this one this is 1942 So pretty. I think it's all this stuff, I think it's all foxing. It's very, very foxed because some of the pages aren't like that. Look at that. Oh, love it. So pretty. So 
that's all I got besides the paper dolls that day. She did set aside three Woman's Home Companion magazines for me to get um, the next time she's open because I didn't have enough money to get them that day. She only takes cash. All right, so let's take a look. I have already gone through all of these and I have placed the paper dolls in, for the most part, I placed them in new bags because the bags were kind of grody. And some of them were a little bit surprising because I this one I picked up and I don't know how much she charged me for it, but it was in a bag with some outfits and it turned out that not one single outfit was for this doll. But I like her anyway and her name is Marcella and she is the owner of Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy in the storybooks. And I had seen this, I think I got a set of dolls, a reproduction set of dolls with this Raggedy Ann dolls with her in it, but I either cut it up and used it in a Raggedy Ann book or I sold it. I think I cut it up and used it. But this is Marcella and I don't have any clothes for her and this one was just a, a doll with no clothes too. It says Whitman. This is Peggy, 1939. So these two I'm just going to keep and I'll probably end up putting them in a journal at some point. <clears throat> and these dolls um, I just put in a in separate little bags. She's got the big bag because these have clothes, a few one or two pieces of clothing to go with them and this one didn't have any. And I think they're from the 40s. They were all mixed up together in one bag. And I just sorted them. So those are a good size to put in journals. So I'll hang on to those and I'll put them in journals. This bag was just clothes. No dolls. So I'm not going to take them all out. But there's fashion, fashion doll clothes and the children, childlike clothes and I added more to the bag after I sorted and I found clothes that didn't go with the dolls that they were with. I just put them in this bag. That is so adorable. I'm just taking them out so I can put them back in neatly without shoving them and bending them. So I can um, decorate journal pages and stuff with those. Now, for the pieces that have the dolls and the clothes, this is an awesome set, and it's very nicely preserved. It was in these page protectors, so I just left, left them in there and just put them all together in one large cellophane bag. These are Debbie Reynolds paper dolls, and I don't know how many dolls. There are at least two. There's one, and there's one. So we have two dolls and then all of these gorgeous outfits that must be from a mo movie probably a lot of them are from movies There's lots of them. Aren't they cool? These I will put in my shop eventually. I used, I think it was Sarah from New England Junk Journals, I used her idea of cutting pages out of a wall sam wallpaper sample book and using them as backdrops. That's a really cool idea, Sarah. Then we have these dolls. Clothes Crazy, it says, 1945. This was the cardboard. Apparently, 
the woman I bought these from, bought them from, or I don't know if the woman passed away, but she ended up getting all these paper dolls from a lady who um, had a store. It says, has the number on it, and then it says, Clothes Crazy 1945, and she was selling it for 15 I don't know how much um, Pat sold it to me for, because she was just tallying uh, and writing numbers down on paper, and I don't remember what was what, but I was kind of paying attention so I could say, no, I don't want that one, that's more than I want to spend, but I only did that to one. So these are very tall dolls. They're a foot tall. And they're very lovely. And this is interesting. I don't really know what you're supposed to do with that. It says Kate. And they have... That's not the one. I don't know which... Oh, this one's Kate. Okay. So they have her facing this way. And you put this in the little slots. And then you can put the outfit over it, apparently. I don't want to press it, stick it in there too far and tear her. But that not that interesting? I've never seen that before. And here's one for Gail. So you're turning the direction of their head. Is that Gail? Yep. I just thought it was because of the hair. Have you ever seen anything like that? That's kind of cute. And there's lots of clothes. And here's Sue's. Lots of clothes. They're really fun. I love these. And I'm sure this one will end up in my shop eventually. Here's another set of a movie star with several dolls and lots of clothes. And this is Sonia Henney. This is from 1939, published by Merrill, which is, I suppose, is the one that is now Bob's Merrill, where Raggedy Ann comes from. Um, classic celebrity cutouts. I guess that's the artist's name. Um, missing small brown fur muff and short white fur jacket. So there's one doll. And I just watched a documentary about Sonia Henney. My mother used to like her and Esther Williams in the movies. You know, Sonia was a Olympic skater back in the day and then she really really wanted to be a movie star so they made movies with skating just so she could be in them and they were very very popular but from from what the documentary said she wasn't a great actress but she was just wonderful to watch on the ice and she was very charming these hats were falling out so I just want to make sure they get stuck in there good So there's, that, that's for doll one, that's doll one, and this is, I don't know what number she is, doll three, because these are the clothes for doll three. <coughs> yes, <coughs> sorry, these are the clothes for doll two. More for doll three, and there's doll two. I think there used to be tape on the bottom of this. Yeah, I can see the residue. So this is a really lovely set. I'm taking my time showing these to you because they are vintage and really fun. It'll go a little quicker when I get to the books, but these are all the ones that are already cut out. Here's another movie star. This is Deanna Durbin. I'm not familiar with her. I really, when I would see old sheet music, I would see Deanna Durbin's name on sheet music, so I'm assuming she was a singer in the movies. 
Or maybe she was just a singer. Not sure. Maybe she wasn't a movie star. But I don't want to tear the tab. But that's one of... It's pretty short for back in the 40s, isn't it? So lots of lovely outfits for Deanna. Look at this coat. Isn't that cute? That looks very girly. Like a schoolgirl. But things were different in the 40s. She may have started out as a teen singer. I don't know. Don't know anything about Deanna Durbin. I've just heard of her. I suppose I could Google her. movie star, very popular one, is Judy Garland. There are two dolls. This was published by Whitman in 1941, and there are some bends, but they're intact. I would never have looked at her and said, oh, that's Judy Garland. But I suppose this one might look a little more like her. Somebody wrote on the tabs, I don't know what this means. I think it's supposed to be doll, I am, I don't know. So on the tabs it says I, A, M, but it says that on all of them. Oh, this one says two, so the I must be a one. Two, A, M. I don't know. But you can tell by the pose what clothes go with what. So I sorted them and put them in these little cellophane bags. And then these, I didn't sort. I didn't try to match them up to outfits. I'll do that before I put them in my shop. And I won't separate them. I'll sell these all together. This one is a set of four paper dolls, Dot, Jean, Betty, and Kay. There's one more movie star coming out too. And these are from the 30s or 40s. There's no date on the paper that they included, but the style of their hair and clothing looks like 30s to me, but I don't know that for sure. I'll have to look them up. So this is Jean, and it has a J on her clothing. She does definitely looks like a 30s doll, doesn't she? I kind of want to keep these just just not to put in journals, but just because I love paper dolls and this is a really, really fabulous set. But we shall see. There's Betty. And Dot. It does not say that the paper just has their names written in pencil. And that must be how much they were being sold for in the store. Um, but it doesn't say the brand, the company who published the book or the year or anything like that. They probably just got their information if somebody wrote the names of the dolls on the back. Yeah, they wrote the names on the back. So that's probably where they got that from. There was probably no other information available when they found them.
Here's the other movie star. And this one is Elizabeth Taylor. Her hair is blue-black. So I'm assuming this one is from the 40s. She's so elegant. She's so elegant until she's screaming and throwing things at her husband. She was so beautiful. Oh, I love it. I've got to show this to my mother. I've got to show her all the movie star ones because she always talks about the movie star paper dolls that she had. And after she got married, her mother threw them away and she was so upset. <laughs> um, this one is a couple of dolls. They're just, they're not movie stars or anything. It's not a lot of clothing here. And I don't even know if they came together. They don't, I don't think so. They were together in one bag. So there's that dress and a wedding dress and this one. And this doll doesn't have any clothes, so I'm going to set her aside. because These are just three outfits that go with this one. And this one, we're now at the books. Well, almost. There's a few more that don't have books. This one is called Sally's Silver Skates. I'm going to have to put this in a different bag because it feels a little grody. Not grody, but, you know, it's old, so it doesn't feel clean. Sally came right out from the front cover. And... This doll, Kathy, came out from the back cover. Peter is still there. He hasn't been punched out. And this one doesn't punch out. So we have Peter, who will skate with both Sally and Kathy, apparently. This says 1956 on the bag. Yes, it says 1956 on the cover. And there's an outfit almost cut out. And then the rest of the outfits are still in here. I don't know if there are pieces missing. I didn't check to see if all the holes, if I can fill in all the holes. So Peter does have outfits too. And I like that. I always liked watching figure skating. them somewhere safe. Here is a ballet set. And I don't don't think that they're supposed to be famous ballerinas, but this says Laura. So there's Laura and her outfits. And Tanya and her outfits. Love that. And Alicia and her outfits. Is this supposed to be Swan Lake with the wings? And Andre and John. Chris. So three women and three men. And the stands are in here. I don't think it has any information as to dates or anything like that. 
but I would say <clears throat> 40s or 50s, probably 50s. This one I would say is the 40s. I'm going to replace this bag too. So these all came together and there's no information. Let's see. Nineteen fifty six is all it says. This is Nancy. And they look like um, teens having a sleepover. So that would be her robe. Some pretty dresses. I love the art on these. I thought I thought these were, would be 40s, but this I think this is the bag I just took off it. It says 1956. They look older than that. But I don't know everything. Because the fashions don't look like 50s either. The fashions look more like 40s. Let's take a let's take a look at the fashions in the next one. She's so pretty. Patty. There's her robe and her coat and her suit. This could be 50s, but it also could be 40s. Yeah, I don't know, because that could be 50s, too. They're so pretty. I love these dolls. I will have a hard time giving some of these up. I'm going to sell all the movie star ones. I know that. After I show them to my mother. And I won't take all the clothes out, but I want to show you the dolls. This is Betsy. This is Jeannie. I just love the art on these dolls. They were very, very well done. That's a pretty dress. She has bunny slippers. And they're both there, believe it or not. That was a very well cared for set. I'm only going to put them back in the bag because it says that, and then I'll transfer them to something else. I'm going to see if I can find them. All I can do is look up their four names and paper dolls and see what I can find. Um, this is Girlfriends 1944. I wonder, I wonder if this bag goes with what I just looked at. Let's see what's in here. I think I separated them by using the cardboard to keep them separate. This is Betty. This definitely looks like 1944 would fit. It's Carmen Miranda look right there. So this probably goes with the girlfriend's title. And these are Billy, uh, Betty and Billy. So they need to be cut out. Then we have Tony hairdo cutout doll. Remember the Tony perms and stuff?
stuff like that. So there are two dolls. Well, there's actually four because they have a miniature doll for each one with clothes. They, the clothes almost look like um, they're on newsprint paper. So it wasn't a real high quality set of dolls, but look at, there's the doll and her clothes. And she has a hairdo that you can give her. And the big doll has more clothes and a hairdo, a couple of hairdos. And I think the hairdos look really weird. <laughs> but that's a really cute idea from Tony. It says 1950. This one is really cute. Now I think all the rest are in books. This one is five paper dolls. I think this is from the 30s, just from the style of art. I've seen magazines from the 30s that have this style of children, because there's no date on it. But it has one, two, three, five dolls and then the clothing. Oh, it says 1937. Somebody started cutting this one out. Jack and Mary and Babette. Bobby and Jean. That's really cute. Little Sweethearts is adorable. This is Susan. That outfit is missing, and that's Karen. So you cut these right out from right out from the covers. I was just looking to see if, with her arm out, if this would work, and it and it will, will. So yeah, that's where the dolls are. Love that robe. And I don't see a date. It's Stevens Publishing Company, Sandusky, Ohio. No date. Dolly's Fashion Show. Seems like I had this one before and probably sold it. <clears throat> I don't know. I have to get into my drawer that has all my paper dolls. I might have it in there. This is 1969. From James and Jonathan Publishing Company, I guess. Two stand-up dolls. And there they are. Aren't they precious? Love those little faces. Sparkling eyes and sweet smiles. And this is in really good condition. <clears throat> 1969. This one is Pretty as a Rose Paper Dolls from Southfield. I had quite a few, I think, from Southfield was 29 cents back in the day. So those are two dolls and their clothing. And they have diff months, outfits for different months. And there are two more dolls and two more dolls. So there are six six dolls in this book. <clears throat> no date, but I would say 50s. This one I would say 60s. It's the Mo the Melody 4 paper dolls. I 
Why don't I see dates on these? It's um, this company, Southfield. They don't put dates on them. But she, they definitely look like they're from the 60s. Early 60s, or maybe even late 50s. But this, those hairdos look like 60s to me. This looks like prom dresses in the 50s. What do you think? I'll have to look them up. These I could probably get some information on because I have the publisher and the name of the book. And it's all intact and in good condition. This is another one through the year with three paper dolls. There's Tina. And I think... The first page is missing because we don't have January, February, March. I don't see where it's gone, but it might mean that the last page is missing too. April, May, June. See, we have March and February here and January, but no dolls. No, wait, it says three dolls. Okay, there's nothing missing. All of the dolls are here. I just don't have anything that says January, February, March on it. But this is intact. I guess it doesn't have all the months. Anyway, there's that. And I love this one. I think I have to keep this one. It's Heidi and Peter Paper Dolls, also by Southfield. So there's one doll and the outfits punch out also. There's Peter. These illustrations remind me so much of, oh, who's the one from <clears throat> the little golden books that I like? Not Eloise Wilkin, the other one that I like. I can't remember right off the top of my head. I don't think it is her, but they have that same look about them. And this, do you know who Trisha is? Trisha Paper Doll? <clears throat> Probably from the 1970s or late 60s. This is Trisha Nixon. White House tour game for two players. There's a White House stand up and 15 costume pieces. So there's Trisha, President's daughter. She had a younger sister named Julie. And it does have some information about other presidents and their wives and daughters. Trisha was a pretty and charming hostess as she welcomed 2,000 children to a concert on the White House lawn. There's a game, White House Tour. make a White House stand up. This part would curve. Attach it here and it would curve out. That's pretty neat. Bonnets and Bows paper doll book. I just love the style of this. Oh, let's see. 1950 1964, 1964. Bonnie and Judy. Some clothes to color. These are in really good condition. So there's some cardstock pieces and then the paper pieces. And two more dolls. Linda and Holly. This one is Anne, a paper doll. And she can stand. She's really cute. There's 
outfit cut out. These are adorable. This one they taped back in where they cut her out. They taped her back in. So I guess that's the only doll, right? Yeah, it's just the one doll. She's adorable. And it says, did I say a date? It just says partially uncut. That's all it says. This is from Southfield Artcraft. They added Artcraft to it at some point or removed it at some point. I don't own the standing on those. Baby Brother and Sister, two cutout dolls. This is 1961 from Whitman. Something got cut out of there. And these guys are so cute. They're bent. But look. Oh my gosh. And these are the thick chipboard ones. And their clothing. It's nice that they were put into a plastic bag so that they weren't in here getting all crumpled up. This one is Now and Then, Dolls and Fashions of the 1890s, 1920s, 40s, and Today. Today being 1976. So this is one doll you can cut out and then these you can punch out. 20s, 40s, 70s. 1890s. paper doll. It is from 1984. She reminds me of Precious Moments. This is from Rand McNally. Two dolls. And lastly, we have Mother and Daughter Cardboard Push Out Doll Book. So there they are, looking very glamorous. And they punch out without the without the full skirt. It's just here. And the clothes are cardstock. So that's it. Do you have any favorites? I can't name a favorite. I like all of them. <laughs> I like paper dolls. What can I say? I've always loved paper dolls. And I want to thank you so much for watching. This was kind of a long video just to show you paper dolls, but I hope you stuck with me. And well, if you're if you're listening to me now, you did stick with me, and I appreciate it. So eventually. Most of these will go in my shop. I'm keeping some. And uh, all those other ones that I showed you at the start of the video, um, they'll be in my shop too. So, yeah, there'll be lots of paper dolls at the Pretty Pink Cottage for a while. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a creative day today. Bye-bye.